everybody and welcome back to another edition of Spirit Sears Cocktail Corner. And today I have for you one of those nebulous rifts on the paper plane that we talked about in a previous episode. This is called the Naked and Famous. Um, I'm not sure where it gets its name, uh, but I do know that it is delicious. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and talk about what we're going to use to make this cocktail. So um, as we know with the paper plane, you know, it had bourbon, it had Aperol, it had lemon juice. Um, you know, it was one of those easy three quarter ounces of each cocktails. Uh, and this one's no different. Um, except for we've subbed in the uh, Amaro for a chartreuse. Uh, we've kept the Aperol. We have substituted the bourbon for mezcal. And we have substituted the lemon for lime. So really we've only changed, I and mean, we've changed three of the four things that would traditionally go into a paper plane and it still works you know it's one of those like I, I said previously this is one of those infinitely riffable cocktails so let's grab our shaker and get to work so we'll start with our mezcal uh, this is Oaxaca Espadine um, the Espadine is kind of one of the more common kinds of agave used to make mezcal um, now for those who don't know a lot about mezcal, it's a little different from tequila, where tequila has to be made in uh, Jalisco, and it's made from 100% blue Weber agave. Uh, mezcal can be made in any number of provinces, provinces pardon me, uh, but mostly in Oaxaca, and it can be made from just tons of different varieties of agave. Um, you know, some of the most famous ones you'll see are Espadine, Barril, Mexicano, Quiche, um, Tabala, but there's so many more. Uh, this one is 100% Espadine. So it's still going to give us kind of those familiar agave notes like you would see in tequila, um, except for, yeah. Except for the flavors are going to be dialed up to like 11, uh, and it's also going to come with some smokiness. Um, now you'll notice I poured a little bit back, I got ahead of myself. Uh, this is three quarter ounces of each, and uh, I do love my mezcal. I went ahead and poured an ounce and a half. So, put half of that into our cocktail shaker, the other half went back into the bottle. Um, now we're going to do three quarter ounces of yellow chartreuse. Now, yellow chartreuse is made by the same monks that make the green stuff, uh, except for this is a little bit more mellow. I'm not sure how the recipe differs, but I knew, do know that it is mellow and it tends to be just a bit sweeter. We're going to put in our three quarter ounces of Aperol. and three quarter ounces of lime juice. We like to use key lime juice here. So that's what I'm using today. It just tends to be a little more tart than the uh, standard stuff. Okay, we're gonna throw ice into our shaker and then we are going to strain that into a coupe glass. So as always, we're going to double strain this just to get rid of those distracting ice chunks. And then we will garnish it with a lime wedge. So the easiest way to get a lime wedge is just to cut it in half lengthwise and then cut it in half again. 
and then we'll just a little notch here and we'll stick that right on the side. So there we have the Naked and Famous, a riff on the paper plane. Let's see how it tastes. This is such a great cocktail. Um, it's very balanced. We get that uh, earthiness this time from the Mezcal instead of the Amaro. And Mezcal really does have these really deep, bold, earthy notes and hints of smoke. And that goes really well with kind of the bright citrus notes that we get from the lime juice and the Aperol. And then the, the yellow chartreuse just serves to kind of marry the earthiness of the Mezcal with the citrus notes that we're getting from that lime and the Aperol by kind of peppering in some lighter herbal notes. Uh, it all plays really well together. It's very refreshing. And another one that, you know, you really can't go wrong with. So, yeah, just perfect. Yeah, such a delicious drink. So, with that, if you decide to make a Naked and Famous yourself, leave us a comment down below and let us know what you thought of it and maybe what you used. Um, especially on the Mezcal front. You know, we had a few to choose from, but we thought that the uh, Oaxaca Espadine would really play well with the rest of these. But, you know, maybe you tried something else and we'd love to hear about it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have tons of great content out there for you to watch and uh, more on the way all the time. And we'd love to see you back. Um, there's a link to our Teespring store down there. There's also a link to our uh, affiliate portal on Surfside Sips where you can use our discount code to get 20% off your order. Um, and you can follow us on social media and let us know what you uh, think. and. You know, get in touch with us more easily. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Those uh, links are usually somewhere right around here. And uh, until next time, keep the spirit, and we'll see you then.